You are watching Market Watch, the brief overview of the key events from the world of finance. Global markets are ending the week on an optimistic note, buoyed by the prospects for large-scale fiscal spending and continued monetary support in the world's largest economy, the United States. These factors have created a powerful incentive for growth, which has helped global equity markets reach record levels despite volatility and some level of uncertainty. On Wall Street, historical highs are observed on Friday. This growth is supported by expectations of continued economic stimulus in the United States and hopes for support measures from China. In Europe, the situation looks less rosy. Despite the slight rise in index futures, the market is facing a number of challenges. One of the main risk factors for Europe is possible tariffs from the United States. In turn, the UK faced a negative reaction to signals from the Bank of England about a possible increase in inflation, which will slow down the pace of interest rate cuts. Also, the political situation in Germany is of concern. From the point of view of news, there are no significant publications scheduled for Friday. After a significant increase at the beginning of the week, the dollar weakened slightly. This allowed sterling to recover to the level of $1.30, and the yen to strengthen slightly, rising to the level of 153 per dollar. The euro declined by 0.07% and is aimed at a decrease of 0.35% for the week. Pressure on the euro was exerted by the renewed growth of the dollar, as well as the political crisis in Germany, where Chancellor Olaf Scholz's coalition collapsed on Wednesday. This has created additional uncertainty in the market. Also on Thursday, the US Federal Reserve lowered interest rates by 25 basis points, as expected, but stressed the need for a cautious approach to future changes. And now to the news of the crypto market. The price of Bitcoin has updated its historical maximum, and there are factors indicating the possibility of further growth. The significant inflow of capital into Bitcoin ETFs and the successful performance of the Republican Party in the US elections, which strengthened its position in Congress, became important indicators that prompted institutional investors to increase investments in cryptocurrency. The growing chances of creating a strategic reserve of Bitcoins in the United States and the prospects for further rate cuts by the Fed also affect the market. That's all I have. Follow the news carefully and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.